Hey everyone, it's Brandon Pierce, and it's been over a year now since our family was last in Bali, and during that two months that we stayed there, I created a lot of videos about Bali, but I realized I never created a video about what we did as a family during that time, what was going on in our minds and the, the changes we went through. So I just wanted to kind of bring the family in for a video today where we're going to be interviewing each of the kids and Jen and, and me about some of our experiences in Bali and show some of the clips and other things that I have uh, memories of that we, we want to remember. So uh, putting it together in this new format today, I hope you enjoy. And not just to get a glimpse into Bali, but also into our lives as a family and, and how uh, our travels affect us. And we'll also be throwing in a few clips of Australia as well because we went there on the way for just a few days. So on the way to Bali, we stopped in Sydney for five days and we got to see a play called Mr. Stink in the Sydney Opera House, which was about a little girl who befriends a homeless man and how their relationship helps transform all of the relationships in the little girl's family for the better. And we also spent some time with new friends that we met in Fiji. They shared our boat with us on our Fiji cultural tour. So they invited us to come stay with their family for a couple of nights and took the girls and I on a walk through their neighborhood to a park one day and we were very surprised and delighted to see quite a few beautiful rainbow lorikeets in the tree at the park. I think one of the things I enjoyed most about our time in Australia is the powerhouse museum we went to which is this cool museum that's all about energy and electricity and a whole lot of different cultural things. and. I, I remember this video, this old black and white video from like the early 1900s that just showed so much racism and sexism. It was amazing as they traveled around the world. It just made me so glad that we live uh, in a little bit different world today. And there was also this really cool mall right next to where we stayed and it had arcade games just right in the mall that you could go to uh, for free and just play. And the little, they had these little spinny chairs the girls like to uh, spin around in as well. It was pretty fun and lots of good food. We ate really well in Australia, although it was all very expensive. I was shocked at the prices of everything, especially the parking. And we also, with their family, went to the parkour gym. Our girls were introduced to what that is like and got to play on the trampolines and in the foam pits and had a great time. It's been about um, a year since we've been in Bali and we're gonna go there in eight days. I'm excited to go to Bali, I'm like really excited because I'm gonna see my best friend Aisha. <laughs> Marie especially had a nice time with her best friend Aisha who lives there. They had such a good time together that when the day came for us to leave Bali, we were having lunch together at a restaurant and it was time to go and they both dissolved into tears. They were so sad until our hearts broke for them and we said, oh, you know, how about you spend a little more time together this afternoon? Their tears and everything were happy tears and it dissolved into laughter and they were so excited to spend more time together and they do spend a lot of time together online, but it's just not quite the same as in person. I remember last time we were in Bali, uh, well, every, every year we go to the monkey forest which is always usually a treacherous experience because the monkeys are a bit wild and people just go in and touch them because they're so cute but it's a bit crazy because they steal your things and they sometimes jump on you and I, I must be, once when I was getting like treated for some infection I had in a, in a clinic or something uh, I came across a kid who got bitten by a monkey <laughs> that was pretty memorable <laughs> Sometimes it gets dirty and bugs get in it and stuff, but I love swimming all the time. It's so fun. 
We also celebrated Asia's fifth birthday while we were in Bali, which was really fun. And they have a Cold Stone Creamery in in Denpasar at the Galleria Mall, which is about an hour from our house in Ubud. So we were excited to find out that we could get her an ice cream cake and actually get it back to our home in Ubud because they pack it in dry ice for us. And we found out that dry ice is actually solid carbon dioxide and we had a fun time learning about it and playing with it as well. So that was a good educational science experiment that we got to do at the same time. And we got an Oreo vanilla ice cream cake, which was absolutely delicious. Last year when we were in Bali is when I started doing coaching and it's been so fun to work with these incredible people on their businesses and on the big life choices they're making. And it was a great learning experience for me as well because I learned how to listen more intently and connect with a person in a way that can really support them at taking in taking their life in the directions they want it to go. I have since cut back from coaching a bit because I want to work on some other ex projects that I'm really excited about, like uh, the Family Adventure Summit, which is a live three-day event that is for families interested in long-term travel and location independence. And this event is going to be our, it's going to be our first year this year, 2017, in Penticton, BC, Canada, on September 1st through 3rd. And I think it's, it, we've been working on it for like a year already and I'm so excited. Uh, it's going to be an epic event. Last year when we were in Bali, we took lots of classes. Emily, my best friend Aisha and me, we were up taking like a private art class. And just me and Aisha were taking a private like class and we were doing fractions and stuff. <laughs> and it was fun. In Bali, I went to a drama class, which was really fun because we got to learn new things about acting. And... I also really like my drama class because we do fun games in it and we do plays every once in a while and it's really fun. I liked the community of the classes we went to. Um, class, the kids are really nice, although sometimes it got a bit chaotic. In Bali this last time, we tried out a few new restaurants. One of them, Emily was even invited to perform her guitar at Pachamama restaurant and she had a drummer and an extra guitarist performing with her. The food in Bali is really great. They have so many restaurants. They, especially the ice cream, the ice cream there is really good. There's, I mean, gelato, because there's mostly gelato. And there's a place called Gelato Secrets, which is really yummy. It's probably our favorite. <laughs> Very. There's so many flavors, and they're really, really rich flavors, which is good. They have restaurants from all over the world, like they have Indian restaurants, Mexican restaurants, local restaurants. <laughs> there are so many restaurants in Bali. There's like a Mexican restaurant that I love because they have black beans and they're so yummy, and I forgot what the restaurant is called, but it's really yummy, Taco Casa. And then there's a restaurant called Mamma Mia, which is a pizza restaurant, and it's really, really, really yummy. My favorite restaurant in Bali is probably Clear Cafe. It actually burned down once, and and they had to rebuild it. They had to relocate while it was rebuilding, but the food there is really great. They have all sorts of food. They have Mexican food, they have Bolognese food, they have Indonesian food, they have Indian food. They have a lot of food, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a cool place. The biggest highlight this time around in Bali was when my cousin Lizzie came to visit our family. We got to spend a lot of time with her and get to know her better and she's just so full of love and light and amazing energy and we all enjoyed being with her and we did everything from shopping to massage to wonderful conversations to eating really delicious food. And one weekend, we even went to Nusa Lambongan, it's an island near Bali, where we spent time snorkeling, and uh, Lizzie and Emily took a surfing lesson together. Uh, last year, we went to Lambongan Island, which was fun, and I got to surf, and I got cut, and we were boating back from surfing. The surfing instructors like teased about putting lemon on it to heal it, and I'm like, no! That was, that was kind of funny. 
On my birthday, we were in Limbongan Island and decided to go snorkeling. We heard there was this beautiful place you could go see giant manta rays. Unfortunately, it was really high tide. The moon was full, it was windy, so we couldn't go out to see the manta rays and the water was so just moving. I ended up feeding my breakfast to the fish and <laughs> I just felt sick the whole time. <laughs> but we saw some beautiful fish and it was good to be together with, with our family and with Lizzie. And Lizzie even treated us one night to a fancy French restaurant. That was really delicious and was such a lovely evening. And Lizzie and I back in Ubu had also taken a, a really wonderful cooking class together from Casa Luna restaurant where we learned all about the Balinese cuisine and the flavors and the scents and the colors were really just amazing to experience with that. And it was especially interesting how we learned the different ways they use food combinations and ingredients in their cuisine to enhance digestion and overall health. We also went to a 3D art museum and there were paintings everywhere and on the walls and stuff and <laughs> it was so fun. And when you looked at the wall you're just like, oh wait, is that a painting or is it not a painting or is it actually there? And it was so cool. When we were with Lizzie, we visited sites all around Bali and around Ubud. The Tegalalong rice terraces, which are so beautiful. We went to the markets, we went to several stores, we went to, to downtown Denpasar and the Champuan Ridge Walk, which has beautiful temples at the beginning and just opens up into this lovely path with palm trees and uh, greenery on both sides. Just a, a lovely way to spend a morning. So Bali is also filled with tons of trash. Like when you look on the side of the road, it's just filled. Like when you look down at the river, the river is not clean. It's just piled up with trash. That's kind of depressing, but um, there's a place that does recycling there, and you bring your trash, and they cut it up into pieces and make uh, bags and things out of it, and sometimes they sell it to people, the, the scraps of plastic, so they can make things out of it. I had the opportunity also in Bali to attend a silent retreat where I was able to have a lot of time to read and to journal and to think and it was a really great experience also right outside the retreat to go on a nature walk with a naturalist named Song Chu who took us on a tour of the rice fields and taught us about the medicinal plants and their offerings and some of the different types of rice. I love the Bali silent retreat. This was actually my second time going uh, and Jen and I took turns so I went first and then came home and then she went while we watched the kids for each other but it was such Always such a great experience because it's just so silent, right? <laughs> you can go so inward and, and focus on uh, your own thoughts. You can see what's coming up inside. And it was really a helpful experience for me. And I had a few new insights. Uh, one in particular is the idea of, you know how we're always talking about how it's important to love other people and to love yourself. And I, I have spent a lot of time focusing on loving myself, but I haven't spend much time really thinking about the idea of receiving love from myself and I found that to be a very different sensation to actually allow myself to receive the love that I'm giving myself. During my time at the silent retreat I was also thinking quite a bit about how life seems to be about the constant transformation of things and how nature is always transforming and it never arrives at a transformation only to stop there. It just keeps on going constantly. So I thought that was really interesting to think about. We also had so much fun again at the Komune Beach Club, which is this beautiful black sand beach. We went there with Lizzie and with our friends, the Kings, uh, playing in the sand and in the pool. Uh, always such a great time there. It's, it's a great surfing beach as well. We're not uh, skilled surfers, but it's, it's a pretty advanced surfing beach for those who like to do that. And they have lights that come on at night and shine on the, the place. It has really cool sparkly black sand. And like when you look at it, it just looks like glitter on the beach. And it's really cool. And it's fun to do at night. At day, it's way too hot because your feet burn. 
and on the way back, Marie stopped in at a doctor's office to get a skin infection treated, which she'd had for a while. And it was an interesting experience to see how the clinic worked there. It's a 24-hour clinic, and we just popped right in. It cost $70 to see the doctor without any insurance, and it, they cleaned her right up, and it worked great. I hope you've enjoyed this video of our family's experience in Bali last year. And if you'd like to see more videos about Bali or anywhere else in the world, or just keep in touch with our family, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our blog at pierceonearth.com. And if you're interested in long-term travel or location independence yourself, then please visit familyadventuresummit.com and check out our live event because you'll, there you'll meet dozens of other families who are living their dream with their families. I hope we'll see you there. Thanks for watching and remember to live well and enjoy life now.